Okay, so in summary, your insanely great ending is you have your second act break reversal, you've solved your second act goal, but you're creating a crisis in your global goal. You have an act three drive, one setback after another, down to a moment of despair. You have your kamikaze moment of commitment in which your hero is acting on the mentor's values. You have this moment of despair in which it seems as though you've been defeated internally, externally, and philosophically, and there's no positive outcome possible. And then you have your decisive act that turns everything around. And what's crucial here, the most important thing is that your decisive act is meaningful in that it's an enactment of the underdog values of the story. And because your hero trusts the mentor, because he trusts the underdog values of the story, that allows for a rapid reversal of stakes in the story, and you're overturning the moral order of the universe that you've created. And what's interesting about these movies is that all the heroes, Luke, Ben, and Olive, are all innocent heroes, which means they're not flawed. So the conflict in this story comes from the universe that they exist in. They live in a flawed universe. They are not flawed characters in a flawed universe, which means that Luke, Ben, and Olive are all the redeemers of that universe. So in a nutshell, you create a flawed universe, you overturn the moral order of that universe from negative to positive in 45 seconds or less, and that is an insanely great ending. So that's pretty much everything I know about how to write a story with an insanely great ending. And remember, I'm not saying that this is the only way to tell a story, okay? A story can be anything. Like, you can write a story any way you want. I'm just hoping that if you love movies and you're just starting out trying to write your own screenplay, maybe some of these ideas will be helpful. So good luck and happy writing.